In this video, I want to talk to you about software for the 3D printer and two programs I think you should download today. What's up guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Nate Hibber. I'm about two months into my 3D printing journey, so I'm by no means an expert. And one of the topics that I've been really consumed with over the last two weeks is software for my 3D printer. Now I personally have uh, an Ender 3 Pro, but I believe that all these software should apply to any 3D printing platform out there. So the very first thing that I learned is that there's actually two different types of software that you're gonna need for 3D printing, at least the way that I'm doing it. Uh, the first one is a tool that will allow you to create 3D models, so models that are in the 3D space. Uh, it's a little bit different than my background. I come from using Photoshop and Illustrator, which are great for two-dimensional uh, designs, but I will actually need new software for to make 3D models, uh, or at least in the capacity that I want to. The second type of software is a slicer software, uh, and basically what that does it is it takes the 3D models and makes it so that your 3D printer can understand how to print it. Uh, it's called a slicer because it's actually breaking down those models into different layers that your 3D printer is printing out. So once I realized that there were those two different types of software that I would need, I could start going out and researching both for a modeling software and a slicer. Now, I actually started looking for different slicers before 3D modeling uh, softwares because I wasn't doing any 3D modeling at the time of, uh, you know, when this journey started. Um, so I was just taking things from Thingiverse and trying to print them on my 3D printer so I could understand, uh, you know, how the 3D printing platform actually works before I started digging into making my own models. Um, so for me, the slicer was more important because that was the piece of software that I was actually using. Uh, I started out using what came with my Ender 3, which is the Creality Slicer. Slicer, um, and it was working okay, but I was having this weird problem where before the print would even start, uh, it would start extruding some filament and it would just start messing everything up. So I either had to wait around for the printer to actually start uh, making the print and then quickly like grab that filament off of there, um, or just do enough uh, passes of an outline so that that filament that got extruded a little bit earlier would just get caught up in the outline passes and not the actual project that I was trying to print out. Um, so I wasn't super happy with that. I thought that it was because of the filament that I had bought. Uh, I bought a sample pack, which again I talked about in my last video, uh, which I thought maybe this filament just isn't high quality, so it's doing that. It's like leaking out beforehand, uh, but I did come to realize that it was actually the slicer causing that problem. I did a lot of research to see if I could solve that problem, uh, but it involved me digging into the G-code, which is not something I'm comfortable with yet, um, so I did actually find a couple of people who were having the similar problem, and they just suggested to switch over to Cura uh, because it had solved the problem for them. Uh, and the way that Cura works is that it actually has um, a couple of passes that it does before to clear out the nozzle before it goes to start printing your project. So uh, it doesn't completely fix it, it still extrudes a little bit earlier, uh, but at least it's off to the side now where it's not going to mess up the final project that I'm printing out. So I would highly suggest if you're having a similar problem uh, to go ahead and check out Cura. Uh, since switching over to that software, I realized it's a little bit more robust and actually something the community um, of 3D printing is using a lot more, as in there's a lot more tutorials about it on YouTube and forums and people talking about the software. Um, and I think there's just a lot more unique options inside of this software, uh, even some experimental stuff that's pretty cool uh, and that I'm excited to dig into. So at the beginning, I said there was two pieces of software that I suggest you try out today, uh, and that's definitely the first one. Cura as a slicer uh, has been fantastic to me. It solved some of the headache that I've had, and I've had really clean prints uh, since using it the last couple of weeks. I know there are a ton of different slicers out there though, so if you are using a different one, please let me know in the comments uh, why you're using the different slicer. Maybe it's just something that came with your printer, or you know you have a specific reason. Uh, I'm very curious and want to know more about the different slicers out there. Uh, but so far for the last couple of weeks, like I said, Cura has been great. But let's go ahead and jump into the next type of software, which is the, actually the 3D modeling software. And this is definitely software I'm a little bit more excited about. Uh, the slicers are good and definitely necessary for the process, uh, but it feels more like solving a problem. When it comes to 3D modeling, uh, this is more like home base for me. As a graphic designer, uh, as someone who spent a lot of time the last couple of years creating things, uh, actually being able to create in a 3D space is something I'm very excited about. So I have a lot of friends in this space, uh, and they suggested to me, that I start with Blender and Blender 2.8 specifically uh, as that's been a big upgrade. As I'm new to Blender, that doesn't mean a whole lot to me, uh, but I made sure that I found the download for Blender 2.8 uh, and started digging around with the tool. 
Now, after downloading Blender and using it for a while, I realized that it's more for like natural shapes or more free-formed uh, modeling. And that's not really my style when it comes to uh, at least the things that I'm gonna be trying to print out. I'm looking for more of a computer-aided design or CAD software. Um, so I put Blender off to the side. I think it's a really great tool, uh, but not quite what I was looking for as I was having problems putting in like exact dimensions and uh, doing certain types of measurements. So I did what I did best. I went back to my friend group uh, and asked them. Uh, I knew that I had a couple of friends who were making more exact models with their uh, 3D printer. And so I asked them what type of software they were using. And they kind of came back to me with three different softwares. Uh, the first one being Tinkercad, the second one being SketchUp, and the third one being Fusion 360. Um, so I started with Tinkercad as that was the first one that they named off. Uh, and I was really blown away by this software. Um, it's a free to use software that's cloud-based and it, it teaches you the basics of 3D modeling, I think, really well. Uh, I probably went through the first couple of tutorials in maybe three to four hours uh, and was just really uh, impressed with that there was this much knowledge like put in this form factor um, for me to wrap my head around 3D modeling. Uh, I feel pretty comfortable with designing and even designing in a 3D space just because of all my graphic design background, um, but I could definitely see for someone who's starting from ground zero and not knowing anything about 3D modeling, uh, like this tool would be really essential to just wrapping your head around things uh, even like how the camera moves in a 3d space and how to uh, you know command different um, camera perspectives and the different objects and aligning a bunch of things uh, I was just yeah really blown away by this software so I would highly suggest uh, you know if you're looking into 3d modeling uh, to try and test this out first you can actually use the files that are coming out of this program for your uh, you know printer through the slicing program um, so you can make usable things uh, in this space. It's not just 100% learning, uh, but I think it will really open up your mind to what's possible uh, and make the next couple of tools that you use, if you choose to go a little bit farther and use something more robust, um, I think it will just give you a really solid base. If you're at all interested in seeing exactly what I mean by that, uh, I can definitely do a whole video on Tinkercad. I had a lot of fun poking around in there, uh, but quickly realized that it was a pretty limited tool and when it comes to creating a, uh, more robust uh, designs and more exact designs, which is what I was trying to get after. Um, so the next thing that I went to was Fusion 360, and I've been really, really happy with Fusion 360 as well. Now, fair warning, Fusion 360, kind of like Blender, can be a very overwhelming program when you first open it up. Um, there are tutorials and there's some actually really amazing tutorials that you can go through, uh, but when you first open the tool, it kind of just gives you a blank slate and lets you go whatever direction that you want. Uh, now, if you're like me and you're just learning how to use 3D modeling, uh, I would highly suggest that you check out Fusion 360's website. Um, they have a whole tutorial series that you can go to, uh, go through, excuse me, and that you can actually use the exact files that they have that are built into the program because everything's saved in the cloud. Uh, there's just a lot of really amazing upsides to Fusion 360. Uh, but what I'm loving so much about it is it does remind me of some of the CAD programs that I used like back in high school, uh, where you can, you know, draw a line, tell that line exactly how long you need it to be, uh, and just be very precise with your measurements. If you're interested in seeing the first product that I made inside of Fusion 360, definitely subscribe to the channel as the next video I'm going to be showing off uh, the first product that I made in there and the first product that I'm actually trying to sell. So this will be step one in actually adding 3D printing to my business, which I'm very excited about. But until that video, I will see you guys next week.